to a medical breakthrough that could save lives around the world. In a first of its kind surgery, Mass General Surgeons were able to transplant a pig kidney into a living person. WBZ's Beth Romano is live for us in Boston tonight. Beth, so much anticipation for this, particularly, of course, for people who are waiting for a transplant. And in the United States alone, there are more than 100,000 people on a waiting list. Some 70 years after doctors here at Mass General were the first to perform a kidney transplant operation, doctors here are now the first to use an organ from a pig, giving hope to so many. <laughs> The emotion of this historical moment weighing on these pioneering doctors. Several days after transplanting a kidney from a genetically engineered pig into a human body, Dr. Tetsuo Kawai proclaimed nothing less than this. It was truly the most beautiful kidney I have ever seen. <laughs> Thank you. The groundbreaking four-hour surgery was performed on a 62-year-old Weymouth man, Richard Slayman, who doctors say spent seven years on dialysis after a previous kidney transplant failed and was willing to take what could have been a risk. He saw this as not only as a way to, to improve his own personal life, but a way to provide hope for the thousands of people who need a transplant to survive. I'm asking them for a lot, and we're asking for a lot when you want an organ. People like Dan Ryan, who has been nearly seven years himself on a waiting list, even advertising his own struggle with car magnets, and now sees hope for a new supply of viable organs for patients like him, who has suffered from kidney failure since the age of 17. My emotions get so high about it because it's so hopeful because that's what's really important when you're waiting on a list. You need hope. These are the supplies I use for my machine that keep me alive. His garage full of the supplies he has to replenish every two weeks for his home dialysis machine and admits he never dreamed of the medical milestone coming from this source. I never thought it would come from a pig. <laughs> Especially since doctors say Richard Slayman could walk out of the hospital in a matter of days if he continues to thrive, while they know there are thousands more like him. Every week we have to remove patients from the waiting list because they become too sick to get a transplant while on dialysis. Now, doctors were hesitant to say how long the kidney might survive, saying more than two years is a best case scenario. They are now monitoring for any infection or rejection of the kidney in the patient they call the real hero. Reporting live from Boston, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News. All right, Beth, thank you.